Hey guys, so uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about terminating edge loops and what terminating edge loops is all about is taking an area of your model uh, that has higher poly density and then terminating loops and lowering the poly count in other areas of your model uh, where not as much topology is needed to support the shapes that you're trying to create. And this is generally done in areas of the model uh, where there's a face, usually. Somewhere uh, where there needs to be more detail. So there's a couple different ways to go about this. I'm going to demonstrate a couple um, and show you my workflow and how I do go about it. So I'm going to start with a plane. and make sure you always have a center line uh, going through your model to maintain symmetry. So let me turn off the grid. The first thing we want to do is pick where we want to terminate the loops. Now you never want to terminate on that center line because that's going to create a, a pole. And I did a whole other video about poles, you can re refer to that, um, but I'm not going to get into that now, but for now just know you don't want to terminate on a, your center line because that will create a five star pole that uh, will break, um, you, you won't be able to select the entire loop at once and it will cause other problems. So we're going to take these loops over here. This is what I usually do is go into quad draw. Say that the center area is where we want to keep the higher poly density and then um, up here we want to move off and create uh, a lower poly density. So the first method I will show you take, we're going to take these three and go down to one. So I'm collapsing these verts together and I'm creating two tries and one quad here. Then what I'm going to do, select these two polys or these two edge loops and hit control delete. Make sure you hit control delete otherwise You'll have leftover verts here and I'll create end guns. Then, to finish off, I'm going to take multi clip tool. And because we don't want to be left with triangles, if your model, it doesn't matter. Uh, if there's tries, then just leave it. But, uh, you know, I think it's best practice to always work in quads. And we're going to make a cut uh, from the middle of one triangle to the other. Hit enter. And now we have all quads. And of course, I always try to work symmetrically. And then usually what I do is I come with the relax tool. And this is usually what you'll see. It will usually look something like this. Now, the other thing to note is you've created kind of an extrusion here. If you look, if I create a uh, and another edge loop, it's going to be redirected down and away from up here. And if I select a couple polys and extrude, you'll notice that it creates the exact same pattern. So deleting edge loops or terminating edge loops is pretty much kind of a reverse extrusion. You can think about it like that. All right. Let me pull out a cube and show you a little bit more of a practical example. So imagine that this was a face and that this poly, this side of the, the cube is where the, the details, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth are going to be. So let me just take this up to 16. Make sure I still have a center loop. Good. All right. Now let me hide the grid. 
so you guys can see a little bit better. So terminating loops on a plane is one thing, but those loops um, generally go somewhere. And if you have good topology and you have clean loops, they're going to loop back around. And you don't want to be terminating something on one end and then have that, that loop come back around. It'll completely de defeat the purpose. So generally when I'm working, I will pick loops that are clean around and then delete them on this end. And then this will be my area where the higher poly density will be. And then I'll also delete them on this end. And then, um, so on all of these back faces, we'll have lower edge count. So just to go run through that one more time, what I did before, I'm gonna do the three to one. Quad draw. So we'll do these three polys. Here, here, and then come down here. You can select these edges so you can know which ones to do. And I'll come down here, do this one, do this. Oops, that was weird. My normal's freaked out. And then just repeat that step. Cut here, cut here. And then select these edges and hit control delete and then go into sculpting huh oh that's because my brush is so large there you go and then we're going from higher poly density to lower poly density. All right, so let me pull up another cube because there's another way that I do this as well. Take it back up to 16. Here's my center line. So let's do this again. This time Say we only wanted to get rid of one loop on either side. Well, you could, you could do that same thing with symmetry turned on, but instead of doing it mirrored, you do it across the axis. So let me just show that real quick. So instead of then doing this, leave it that way, go back in your multi-cut, and then we'll do it across the axis. And that way, well, you'd have to do it on the other side, but that way you could ju just delete a single loop and be le on, on either side. Um, and then the other way that I go about it, uh, quad draw, is I collapse them in like this to a single vert. So I collapse two verts on either side of a pol or on either side of an edge loop. Let me do out here. Just like this. And then I'll highlight the poly so I can come down here and do the same thing. Now what I'll do or I'll select these two and then this middle um, edge. So I won't be left with two triangles. I'll be left with this triangle quad looking thing. And make sure you come up here and do the same thing. And then hit control delete. And that's a good way. And then this is, I think, typically called going from four to two. Because there's four polys here and now there's, we're left with two up here. But this will leave you with, uh, where is it? Sculpting, relax. This will leave you with this 
strange looking quad. And then keep in mind the way the way your edge loops are going to be then redirected. I, I showed on the on the plane earlier. So if you do this, you're going to create pretty much an extrusion, um, a loop uh, from top to bottom. Now, if you don't have clean loops like this, you're going to have to figure out a way to um, divert the missing loops uh, somewhere down here because obviously models are not all cubes and have clean loops so um, I'm just giving you guys uh, more of a simple explanation that you can then you know extrapolate out to you know more complex scenarios complex models with different topology alright so that is pretty much it uh, as far as uh, deleting edge loops or terminating edge loops um, it can get more complicated than this, but I think this is good for now. And if you guys have any questions about this or anything that else you want me to cover on this topic, please uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, drop me a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, until the next time, thanks for watching, guys.